Commission too of Justice, Mercy and Grace. So I'm to spend another day looking at the holiness of God. In Exodus 19 we have the story of God summoning Moses to come up Mount Sinai so he could tell Moses what he wanted for his people. But he, he told Moses to tell the people that they must not come near the mountain, they must not touch it because the presence of God would be on that mountain. And even if an animal wandered onto the mountain, it would die. And when Moses came down from the mountain, the uh, face, his face was just shining so much because he'd been in the presence of God. The people couldn't stand it. And they made him put a veil over his face while he spoke to them. And then in Isaiah 6, we have a record of Isaiah's vision where he saw right into the throne room of God. And he gives an awesome description of what he sees. But his reaction is this. In verse 5, Woe to me, I cried. I'm ruined, for I'm a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. So just the vision of the awesome holiness of God made him realise his own sordidness, that he would die. But here we begin to see the mercy of God. In the vision, an angel took a coal from the altar, and he touched Isaiah's lips and said, your guilt is gone, your sins are paid for. The mercy of God actually begins at creation. God made humanity, and the picture there is of Adam and Eve. He gave humanity the authority over all the plants and animals. In fact, he was the crowning glory of God's creation. And he also had a perfect relationship with God, and that's pictured by the, the idea of Adam and Eve walking with God in the cool of the evening in the garden. There was only one rule, and that was that they were not to touch a tree, which was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They were certainly went to eat its fruit, but they weren't even allowed to touch it. And Eve, when responding to the serpent, she said this, that he said, God said that if we touch this tree, we would die. See, to eat the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is a decision that we will decide for ourselves what's right and what's wrong. And that's completely dishonouring to God. Eve knew that God had said they must not touch the tree. And right at the beginning, God's telling them that disobeying or dishonouring him would result in death. And this is because it's challenging God's own authority to rule over the earth that he has created. It's saying, our will is higher than yours, God. But Adam and Eve didn't die because right there God extended his mercy. Yes, they suffered from their disobedience. They were thrown out of the garden. No longer was everything provided for them. They had to work for it. No longer did they have that um, lovely relationship with God. Um, there was a barrier now between them. But they didn't die because God chose not to exercise justice right here. But instead, he began a process of teaching people how to be obedient, how to honour him. And it's a process, of course, that culminated in Jesus and continues today through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. God is not a vengeful God. He is a holy God. His justice is perfect, but he chooses to be merciful.
I found your 